Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the new Monster High Holiday Love Edition set. So this is our Valentine set for this year. Last year we got Cleo and Deuce, and this year we have Claude and Draculaura. Um, super cute. I love, love, love Draculaura and Claude together. They're like OTP for me. So anyways, here is the box. We have Monster High Holiday Love Edition. There is their skullettes. Lots of little roses around the packaging. Uh, it looks like the cutout of the the box too is like a rose and on the side here we have monster high holiday with like little little zipper very reminiscent of the old packaging to claude and then here is the back it says let me get y'all up here it's love us at first bite as Dracula and Claude get all dressed up for a fabulous night out. The big monster on campus is ready to whisk his favorite birthday ghoul away for a romantic date night and special birthday celebration. With a little help from his fashionable sister, Claude is dressed in a ripped v-neck and an all-over marble print and flared corduroy pants. Ready to give Dracula a pretty bouquet of roses before heading to her fave vegetarian bistro. For a romantic poetry reading in the park, Draculaura is wearing a gorgeous gothic floral dress with poof sleeves, ghoulish accessories, and vamptastic heels. As the night ends, Draculaura and Claude stroll hand in hand, sipping coffin chinos uh, when the rain begins to fall, reminiscent of that fateful autumn night so long ago. Cuddled under her parasol, this monster couple knows that while their love may might be forbidden, it will always howl true. <laughs> So many callbacks. And then we have this little picture of them down here. And it looks like Claude had a side glance at some point. I wish he would have kept that. Uh, he's also on a deuce body here. Or like a standard body. Well, at least the hands. Uh, so yeah. Too bad he didn't keep the side glance. It would have been cute if they both had the side glances like Cleo and Deuce did. But unfortunately, that's not the case. But anyways, I think we've babbled about the box long enough, so let's get them out of it. All right, we've got them out of the box, so let's take a look at their stuff. The first thing we have is our Certificate of Authenticity Love Edition. This certifies your Monster High Holiday Love Edition dolls, materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. We've got these little cards. I think they're supposed to be like Valentine's cards to each other. Uh, this one says, to the birthday ghoul, I'm over the moon for you, XOXO Claude. And this one says, it may be forbidden, but I'm smitten, Draculaura. Right here we have the bouquet. So it comes in this little plastic coffin. It's just pink plastic and then you can open it and the bouquet of roses is in there in its own separate piece. Nothing for like Claude to hold it with, but cute little piece. I like that it's functional. We got like spider webs on the sculpt and a big bow in the middle. Draculaura has this pink heart-shaped purse. It's made with a pink translucent plastic with some black painted details in the middle with a little bat and three hearts. It's not painted on the backside, however, and it does have a slit so you could put things in there if you wanted. And then she has this little parasol. Here's the top part. I love all the sculpting. Lots of hearts, uh, spider webs, just like ornate looking things. There's bats all around it. You can see right here, there's bats. It's super cute. And then just has a pink handle with a little heart bat on the handle um while this is cute i do think it's really a shame that it's literally just two pieces of red and pink plastic like this should have been painted for sure it's just not giving in its current state unfortunately but it is a cute piece i just like really wish it was painted and i really wish it would focus too uh but I, what i do love is that we did get this little stand attachment so it goes right on her stand if I could get it to work for me. Like so. Let's see if we can move this up. And then it looks like, you know. Oh, wow. Hello. There we go. It looks like she's holding it, right? So I think that's super cute. But I do also wish that she had like a grip hand or something. Because it just kind of doesn't look like she's holding it very well. Like that's kind of the best you can do. But yeah, that's, that's a nitpick for sure. And lastly, we do get the two stands with them, so displaying is not an issue. All right, so let's take a look at our dolls. We're going to start off with Claude. It's been a minute since we've seen a Generation 1 Claude doll, uh, but literally nothing has changed facially. He looks pretty much exactly the same. Same eye, uh, yellow brown eyes, same slight brown eyeshadow, but that's not really supposed to be eyeshadow. You know, it's just like a shadow, just a shadow. Thick brows, big lips with the fangs. Nothing different going on. 
He looks cute, but I really do wish he had that side glance. Ooh, that would have been so fun. His hair is pretty much the same as the Forbidden Love release. We have the shaved sides with the little mohawk in the middle with the curly hair. Really cute. I think it would have been actually way cuter to see him with more of an afro in this release, especially like with the look. Like I think it would have really given, but you know, it is what it is. He's got his signature earring on his right ear. That's in a metallic gold paint. For his outfit, we actually have all separate layers on a boy doll, a Monster High boy doll with separate layers. Amazing. Uh, anyways, he has this white mesh t-shirt, super, super cute. The description says it's a v-neck though, and this is not giving v-neck, but you know, whatever. Uh, interesting. And then in the back, it just uses Velcro. It's a really cute piece. I like it a lot. And then over that, he has this like coat, dress coat kind of moment. It's a really cute, or dress jacket, I don't even know. It's really cute. It's got like pink, or not pink, purple and red, kind of not tie dye, but splotches. I don't know how to explain it, but it's got these like little ornate designs. I thought they were claw marks, but they're not really giving claw mark. Uh, there's like wolves in them, I see, I'm seeing wolves. And then like the collar looks just like his vest from Forbidden Love, which I think is a cute little throwback. And then in the front here, it just uses a little snap to close. There's no Velcro or anything. So it's really cool, it has a little snap. It feels really nice. Um, I know it's not silk, but it's very like silky feeling because it's very soft material. And like, I'm just shocked that they used so many different materials on a boy doll. I'm very happy about it, but like, wow, his outfit is definitely better quality than Dracula's, <laughs> which is crazy. But anyways, moving on. On his left wrist, he has a gold watch, the like, watch part looks like a little crescent moon and i thought it was the same as the forbidden love one but i feel like it's a different band but i also have not looked at forbidden love in a hot minute so i could be wrong it could be the same could not be the same but i feel like it's thicker than the forbidden love one just from what i remember off the top of my head because i used to put that thing on all the time because it used to fall off a lot but yeah also he does have wrist articulation there's like proto or promo pictures of him that don't have the wrist articulation i don't know why but he has it so no worries i do wish he was on a generation two clawed body though but that's that's just me um honestly i probably prefer generation two bodies all around but that's all, just just me just me so on his pants he has this like chain thing that is designed in the most interesting way i've ever seen uh, it has little hooks that go onto the pants but it doesn't stay on very well there's little wolves on them right here. See right there, it's just gold, shiny plastic. There's another wolf. And, you know, just kind of claws to the pant, but it didn't stay on very well, and that's what it looks like. So, interesting choice, for sure. Uh, I don't know if we should have just skipped it or just maybe just done, like, a real chain instead. I don't know. Like, it's interesting. Moving on to the coolest part of the doll, here are his pants. They are actually made from a real corduroy material, which is amazing. They are black and red checkerboard with phases of the moon all over them, and they do flare out at the bottom. I really, really love like the aesthetic of this set. It's very like 80s prom, very, uh, like Dracula gives me Hunger Games. <laughs> so, I have to drink it, like it's giving for me. And it's not for everybody, but I really do love it, and I like the fits kind of like different than what we usually get for these two so yeah and these are really nicely made and they just use velcro in the back right there and for his shoes he has these little like chelsea boots going on they have a little crescent moon why is nothing wanting to focus today what is up with that let's see there we go we got a little crescent moon action and then that same print that's been all over his shirt or his coat he's got little buckles Super cute. Does the bottoms have anything? Oh, little crescent moons on the soles. There's the other one. Same thing. Buckles switch positions, though, of course. Really cute. Really cute. Moving on to our birthday glow, we have Miss Draculaura herself. You know, fan favorite. We adore Draculaura around here. Uh, I have to say this face is giving 2012 in the best possible way. Like, this doll could straight up be... A release from the original generation one like i it's crazy she's so pretty to me too uh, i love her red eyeshadow so on the lid she has a, like a darker red and then she has a little bit of a pink into a red on the 
lid or no, not the crease the lid is red sorry the lid is red and then the crease has like a little bit of pink and then underneath the eye it's more red toned as well super super pretty i love the shape of her eyebrows here and then her lip oh her lip is gorgeous so it's like a dark red color but it's kind of like a ombre lip a little bit if you look at it too close you can see like they did not do it super great but if you don't look at it really close it looks like one of the repainted lips i've been seeing like the style of repaint lips I've been seeing a lot, so I wonder if they were inspired by that. I love the shape. I don't really love the way they did the fangs. I kind of prefer when it's just like like the way they did Claude's, you know, where it doesn't have the line across the whole mouth. But especially now, like when I'm looking at it, it's like a little funky looking online. But I still think she's gorgeous. Uh, her little birthmark has a C in it for Claude. And then we have blushing. Her blushing goes kind of weird um, up the face. Do you see that? I don't know if you can really tell in person or on my camera, but in person it's going like all the ways up here. It's like pink blushing. It's interesting. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Uh, but yeah, she's really, really pretty. Look at her. Draculaura. Gorge. She's wearing this little heart headband with little bat wings. Once again, with those like ornate designs that has a little thick band with the same designs. A little heart. It's, a little, it's supposed to look like lace probably. Uh really cute and then for her hair she has a side part with saran we have black with the light pink streaks this time i think holiday the other holiday dracula also has light pink streaks right yes uh it's just kind of like a little short wavy moment well not short like mid-length wavy moment uh this little part right here is covered in product because it's supposed to be gel or curled and it kind of like you know we got some volume going on here uh, unfortunately, Mattel does not know how to style hair, so the rest of it looks awful. But the idea is there. <laughs> Her earrings are little red coffins being carried by little bats. Super cute. They remind me of the Forbidden Love purse. And now we've got her little dress here. It is made from our favorite Mattel fabric, paper silk. It's really cute though. I do like the dress. It's got a red bodice with little ruffles on the top. It has a little bow moment in the middle. Poof sleeves that are pink with this rose print, rose spider print, spider web print. And then here is the bottom. It's kind of like a bubble, bubble skirt that goes into like a little, little mini mermaid moment. Uh, like this specific silhouette really gives Effie Trinket to me. So like I'm obsessed. Uh, I don't know how, but some people don't like it. I like it. I get it. I get the vibe. She's like, you know, may the odds be ever in your favor. And may the odds be ever in my favor in my date tonight. Like, that's what she's giving. She's very excited about it. She has a black belt in the middle that has two little belts on it. It's like a big corset looking piece. Um, I don't know, of course, that's the right word for it. Just kind of, oh, how does it? Oh, those are like actual interesting. So it doesn't just buckle like a normal one. Those are like actual straps, I think. And I don't want to figure out how that comes off because I feel like it's going to be a pain to get back on. Yep. Mm -hmm. So those are two little individual straps. And that, my friends, is very annoying. Okay, I don't really love that. I don't think that was necessary. But anyways, <laughs> moving on. Instead of standard hands, she does have black gloves. And then we have this, like, sculpted little lace piece to make it look more intricate. On bets on both sides. We've got some black mesh tights that go all the ways down. Thank you, Lord. We're not giving any um, cutoff moments. I love these. These are always a nice handy piece to have laying around. And lastly, we have her shoes that are, like, really lacking some detail but we just got some red plastic here they are an interesting little heelless wedge moment platform they have little bow straps that look like bat wings and then they have little bat wings in the back that are like flying away and then the heel part has the little intricate rose print all over it that we've been seeing everywhere uh not a huge fan of shoes not gonna lie they could have been way better i think with some paint maybe i don't even know I, don't even know I got cut off for some reason, but uh, I was saying that I don't even know if I really like this sculpt all that much, to be honest with you, but it's what we got, so it's what we're working with. <laughs> all right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for our Forbidden Lovers. Let me know what you think of them down below in the comments. I do think they're super cute. $60 still feels pretty steep. Uh, 50 probably would have been more 
like would have made more sense just standard because they're very like play line quality but this is mattel and this is a monster High collector doll so you know yeah yeah you know you know what we're dealing with but yeah let me know what you think of them down below in the comments and as always if you enjoyed the content make sure to subscribe and follow my socials and i will see y'all next time bye